Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, I wanted to run you through some big shop updates and business updates and channel updates. As you can probably see, we are not in my warehouse, despite having a warehouse for this business. Uh, the business has grown steadily and we are just bursting at the seams in our current warehouse. There's a certain amount of inventory we have to carry and hold and space for the printers. And ultimately, when we run out of space, Everything ends up back here in my garage where this all started up in Washington. Over here in the garage, we've got a bunch of 3D printers running and I've had to run these personally uh, as well as have employees come over to my house to run these. And of course, we've got our main print farm, which is at the warehouse. This split operation obviously isn't ideal for running the business, so we are in the process of moving. Uh, we will be moving in the beginning of November, which as you can probably imagine, is pretty crazy timing. The holiday season is, of course, our busiest time of year, and we are going to be moving just before the start of the busy season. For those of you who have been with me for a while, uh, you probably know most of the backstory, but this business started totally by accident. I was brewing beer and loved that hobby and sold all my stuff out, off and had, had a little bit of money sitting aside and wanted to put it towards another hobby and I love the Nerf stuff and bought one 3D printer. Uh, I designed the Hurricane and people were knocking down my door trying to uh, uh, ask, me, ask me to buy, they wanted to buy one from me and pretty soon one printer turned into two, two turned into four, four turned into eight and I realized that I was not gonna be able to make this work in California in my garage. We then moved the business to Oregon and then finally up to Washington where we are now. The business was then in this space and also occupying two, two and a half other rooms in my house, plus some storage in a shed. And then we ultimately had to get our first warehouse. And so moving to this, this next step, this next warehouse is probably the biggest one yet. Uh, both for me personally, it's, it's a, a big step because as much as I like this stuff in my house, running printers every night before bed, the moment you get up and sometimes in the middle of the night is really not conducive to a good night's sleep or a good family life. So I, it's gonna be wonderful to get this all in one place. It also makes managing the business and running the business a lot easier. And it's easier for my print tech to actually keep track of the printers and repair them and keep our logs accurate. So. It's been a long journey and I'm really, really excited for this next step. I can't wait to share it with you and we'll have a lot more to come on this as we move forward. Thank you so much for your orders and for your support and for watching the channel. I'm really thrilled that this hobby has grown as much as it has and I'm so happy to be a part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you from my friends, my family, to my employees. Uh, we really appreciate you supporting the business and we love doing this, so don't go anywhere. Keep placing your orders. We're not actually closing down the shop. The web store will all remain open while we move. We're going to move and transition as fast as we possibly can. We are gonna ship all the way up until Sunday the 1st and then we will essentially halt shipping for three or four days to resume shipping on the 4th or 5th of November. So if you place an order in, the, in that time period, you'll get an automatic email and there'll be a notice on the website telling you that we'll ship a few days later. We appreciate your orders during this time. Obviously your support is crucial in our growth and in moving into a larger space. I will have a full tour of the new space and a moving video as well because I think people are gonna find that really fun. Our new place that we're moving into is about twice the size of our current one. So it's a substantial step forward. But as you can see in from some of these videos of our current space, we are just packed to the gills. We are out of room for filament. We don't have any more room for printers. We're out of power. We've got stations that are sort of jumbled on top of each other where one station is used for five or six different products. And as you can imagine, that causes a lot of headaches. One of the big things I am starting to learn more about is lean manufacturing and just getting generally more organized. So. We are hoping in the new space to dedicate different zones for each different area. And I'd love to hear what kind of behind the scenes and warehouse content you are all interested in. It's something that we haven't done very much of. I did one warehouse tour when we sort of in the middle of the uh, time that we've been at the current one. But if you're interested in seeing more of that, I'd love to shoot more of that because it sounds kind of unique and a little more interesting to me. But I'd love to hear what you think in the comments on that because 
I'm obviously the only one in the US running a shop of this scale, and so we have kind of different things going on. Would you like to hear more about running the print farm? Would you like to hear more on the business side of things? I'm willing to talk about pretty much anything, so if there's a topic you'd like covered, hit us up in the comments and uh, we'll add it to our video list. Some other really big changes, I'm hiring my first actual mod tech, which is someone uh, we'll announce a little bit later, but this uh, person is going to also be helping out with sort of technical emails, product development, and, and a few more things like that. Because currently most of my team are not uh, hardcore nerfers. They like nerf in general, but they're not uh, necessarily out there modding and playing every weekend. So it's gonna be really exciting to have another person in house that is uh, really into the modding scene and has a lot of experience. In addition to that, we've also hired a uh, video intern who's been helping create these great videos. <laughs> and uh, that's been fabulous because one of the biggest uh, holdups in getting video content done is me. <laughs> uh, when you have to handle all of the marketing, branding, administrative work, the product creation, the design, the 3D print, management. The tasks are endless in the business and I love all of it. It's all a really fun complex game for me but at the end of the day I have to at some point say you know what I probably shouldn't spend eight hours a week ten hours a week editing videos when I could hire somebody else that can focus on that task do a better job and uh, kind of keep me on on schedule as well. It's going to be a really uh, big move, a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be posting on social media during the move. I think once we're settled, we'll also run a good video of how that move went and kind of behind the scenes. Thank you so much for your support. As always, we uh, really appreciate your patience during this couple days that we will be down and won't be shipping. My whole team is on board and ready to rock and just make this happen as quickly as possible so we can transition to getting your orders out six or seven days a week just like we do now and hopefully doing it in an even faster and more responsive manner. Again, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm out of darts.